Hello, amazing fire community. Merry Christmas. Happy Saturday. Merry Christmas Eve. Uh, I am in my garage. Uh, shout out to Next Level Fitness and Martial Arts for their clothing drive that they did in the month of December, um, November, December. And uh, they, you know, they've entrusted it to me to uh, be able to get to its destination. So once I am done shopping, I'm getting ready to go shopping. Yes, I plan on going out dressed like an elf. Just some last minute things I need to pick up. Um, so, oh my goodness. Merry Christmas. I wanted to share, this video might be a little bit longer than the other ones, because I wanted to share something really important um, to me, and I feel it's inc uh, important I share it on, pass it on to you, um, just because, it, you know, it is Christmas, and the reason for the season, and the birth of Christ, and, and everything, and um, I wanted to also share, uh, when you have a chance, um, all of the interviews that I've done, um, over the years, I have finally uploaded them all to my website, my personal website, jessicarosenight.com. If you go under Jessica's interviews, you can watch and listen to them there. Uh, I think I have around 10 now. And they're, you know, just um, about human trafficking, my perspective when it comes to, to you know, just the social issue, my experiences. Uh, and But I wanted to share with doing these podcasts that it's very important for me, and this is why those that I coach or that I encourage um, and kind of um, guide when they're working on their purpose or finding their voice is um, that, you know, without the huge healing that Christ did in me back in 2011, um, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. Like I listen to the podcast and I hear what I share, but really what it comes down to is this amazing healing um, that I went through. And the holidays, it's actually really hard. There's some abuse um, surrounding the holidays. Some of you have heard my story of the different things that kind of went on in my family and the confusion. And, you know, when I was a kid, the one thing that I wanted was a different family. I was actually angry at God for many, many decades um, for giving me or assigning me the family that I had. And I had this hard, hard heart, like my heart, my kids will tell you my heart was like stone. Um, and it, you know, it's just the way that I was brought up. Um, it's the way that I coped and the way that the Lord um, softened that heart, it was able to penetrate that hard heart was, you know, doing outreaches and um, recovering women, assisting them exit out of any type of unhealthy situation they were in and watching the Lord interact with his family. And this is why to me, it's always like family is the priority uh, when it comes to fire advocates, because it's just as important to God. And we think about this holiday season and God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Jesus didn't think it less to become a man, to be below the angels. And my biggest thing is that he lived among us. Like he got into our world to see what it was like. And so those things help me with my walk. They help me with my relationship with the Lord, which in turn helps me to serve the kingdom because it wants me and encourages me and inspires me to serve the kingdom of God. So during this holiday season, remember, don't get, you know, my biggest thing in my prayer is always don't let me get distracted by what the world is doing, but let me serve your kingdom. Um, let make sure that you're involved in everything that I do, Lord. And um, understanding and adjusting myself to understand how important family is to God. So with that, uh, the reason I took a little bit of time to share this very important message is because we don't have any events until January 14th. Um, there's the summit over at GCU and then Dr. Vashi and her sorority sisters will be hosting fire. Now the next level event 
it's not like a public event. It's more for um, Dr. Vashi's sorority sisters and for fire advocates to attend. Uh, I'm still waiting for the exact address. I put an address in in this in the uh, on on our events, but that might not be the final um, address. So be watching for that. I hope you guys come out. Uh, I will. Uh, follow up with you next Saturday. It'll be New Year's Eve. And then I want to discuss how are we going into the new year. So have an amazing, amazing time with your family. Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed. Mwah! Love you, ladies.